big recovery today. We are headed to Oakland, Bay Area. This guy's been stuck for like a week. He's on the side of a hill in an old school Dodge and he's super nervous about anybody touching it. One wrong move and this thing could roll down the hill. So I, I think he's probably a little more concerned with it than I am. I've done recoveries like this. They're definitely tricky. They can be challenging, but I've always been successful with, with all the recoveries I've done. So, but I can tell the guy's super nervous about letting people touch it. Originally, he was just gonna wait until we have better weather and to stop raining, and it literally has not stopped raining for weeks. And this is the first dry day we've had. So we're gonna go tackle it. Two hour drive each way, we'll be there soon. running into my buddy an hour away from home driving down the freeway we got another Jeep another experienced operator so uh, we're gonna tag team this thing should be fairly easy but uh, we're almost there found it. Ugh. Talk about being on a cliff. Pictures never do it justice. That's way down. That's like steep as could be. Uh, but we do got a good, good oak up there. Yeah, luckily there's plenty of good trees to winch off of, but it is pretty high up. <laughs> we drug it so it was back like about three or four feet so we our first attempt we got it this far okay um and since i've talked to you that back tire is eroded with water okay yeah so it was sitting oh up, yeah yeah it was yeah sitting up a little bit higher yeah you can see the water line yeah well you can see the tire is definitely if you go on the other side in there yeah it's, it's, it's right down in there the way. pumpkin's the only thing holding it up all right. This weather has not been. Dude, what a beautiful day out here. Sometimes you gotta just stop taking the scenery. I've never been here. We got our hands full with this one. It's uh definitely gonna be a little tricky, but I think you know confident we'll be able to get it, especially with, with two vehicles here. So our game plan is I'm gonna get turned around, I'm gonna hit it from that side, run up to that big oak. With the snatch block, run back down, connect to the front axle. Uh, my buddy here is going to come up on this end. Same thing. He's going to run to the back. We're both going to tag team it and try and just drag the entire truck over. I don't want to run off of this tree because I don't want it coming back. I don't want to run off of that one because I don't want to go forward. I just want the entire thing sideways. So we got really lucky that there's a big anchor point up there. But enough talking. Let's get it hooked up and then I'll show you exactly how we do it. All right, so quick explanation. Um, he, as you can see, is parked up the hill, so that way um, it's not gonna drag him all the way up the hill. We have this big oak up here. He has his own dedicated lines ran to the bottom of that. Snatch block right there, if you can see it. He's hooked up to the back end. I'm hooked up to the front end. I have my yeah. own dedicated line as well, snatch block. Same thing, it's gonna drag me up the hill. Uh, we did that, so if any one of these breaks, we still have two safety points on it. So it's not going to just tumble. Um, you can't even walk down this. It is extremely steep. Hooked up to the front around the axle with a 31,000 pound tree saver. It's grabbing the whole tire. He's hooked up to a hitch shackle in the back. 
And then we are anchored to that very large oak up there with, like I said, two separate systems. Plus, um, they already have this up top. So we're gonna keep all this stuff here, little by little. Oh, we got radios, we're gonna tag team it and hit it, bump it at the same time, nice and slow. picking up the whole front end of his Jeep. It's literally starting to pick up the front end of my Jeep. It's dragging him in too, so it's it's uh, tougher than what it, it looked to be. <laughs> That's what I said at the beginning though, they can be tricky. But, but we're holding. Yeah, we're. Yeah, we're gonna get him anchored off and then uh, See if he can bump it one side, then I'll bump it one side and see if that works. You three wheeling big time. Woo. It's crazy what lockers will do. Solid. I think you're good right there. ARB? Uh, electronic Rubicon lockers. Yeah, we'll get it right around. Either one of these guys should hold trips. much weight on it. I can hear my winch struggling already, so we're gonna we're gonna try and wiggle it right now, and then if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna run double snatch blocks to mine, which was my original game plan. Because my winch, you can hear it's bogging down for sure. It's about maxed out off of a single line pull. But if I hook up another snatch block right here, that should give it enough umph. Winning, winning. Moved it a little. Yeah, originally, dude, you slid the back end over what looked to be pretty easy. Okay, gotcha. We got him anchored off. Like I said, dude, it was literally lifting the front end of his Jeep up. It's just at such an incline right now. I mean, way up here. Um, and then he's behind me, he's gonna anchor off to something as well because it, like I said, was dragging both of us in. I don't want to put just one wheel into this. That's how you break a ball joint or break a tie rod or something. You got 10, 15,000 pounds of force on one wheel just getting crammed sideways. That's all bad. So running anchors is best. It's another reason I don't like using wheel chocks either because I've seen tie rods and ball joints break from people uh, just stopped up on wheel chocks like that. Running out an anchor is always the best option. Might be a little more work, but that's okay. All right, we got it anchored off again, and then now he's anchored off in the front. So <laughs> we got so kind of an elaborate setup going up here. You can't really see it, but uh, way up in there, that tree seems to be holding well. That is a big oak. Try and go to the bottom of it, but it is also a lot of pressure, you know? Last thing you want is that damn thing to come crashing down. got it we got it 
you know, it's a little tricky, but you know, with the right equipment, the right anchoring and all that good stuff, that definitely helps out a lot, but it, it slid it right over. Got it out, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we, all done. I don't want to say we made it look easy. It, it was a little difficult, but it really did exactly what we wanted it to do. That was my initial game plan. Um, you know, originally I was going to tackle this by myself. And my plan then was to run double snatch blocks right off the front of my Jeep, a short snatch block, then my uh, snatch block to redirect it. Um, so I don't know if that would have worked. I think it, it probably would have. It definitely was bogging down my winch on a single line pull. But, uh, you know, end of the day, we got it out. Everything went smooth. So on the drive home, I, I like to reflect on the recovery and think, you know, what what could I have done differently? Maybe what would have worked better? That's that's usually what happens is, you know, after the fact, hindsight, right? You think, hey, well, if I could have done it this way. So one thing I do want to add, if I find myself in that situation again, where everything, all the rigging is elevated above the Jeep. So if something breaks, it's coming right back down on top of the Jeep, likely through the windshield. So a smart thing to do there would have been to open the hood. And that's something I've done plenty of times in the past. Not sure why I didn't think of that, uh, but just to play it safe, you know, if, if I'm in that situation again, definitely gonna open the hood. That way, if something breaks, it smacks the inside of the hood and doesn't come through the windshield. I was going to put winch blankets on it, but since it was so high in the air, the winch blankets would just slide back down the line. So they wouldn't have worked in that. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Smash that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.